Hello everyone, I'm Luke Crow, Golden Harvest Agronomist. Today, I'd like to talk to you guys about scheduling that final irrigation pass in corn. Now really, there's three parts to this. First being crop growth stage. Once you understand that crop growth stage, they will give you how many days to maturity and the remaining water needed to finish that crop out. Secondly, is gonna understand your soil water holding capacity. With soil water holding capacity, first, You'll have to probe the soil to understand what type of soil you have. Secondly, once you know the type of soil that you have, that will then allow you to figure out how much water is in that soil per foot. And the last part of this is going to be to take your water needed to finish the crop out minus the available water that's in your soil and then that will give you the remaining water that you would need to apply with your irrigation system. Now, so firstly, I went ahead and actually pulled an ear and uh, staged this crop and it's roughly quarter milk line. And at quarter milk line, um, UNL extension provides some pretty good articles, but uh, quarter milk line, uh, that's gonna be roughly 19 days to black layer and you're gonna need 3.75 inches of available rainfall and or water to finish the crop out. Uh, secondly, um, we need to probe the soil and understand our soil type. And once we understand that soil type, it will allow us to make a good recommendation on how much water we have per foot in the soil. And so I went ahead and for the sake of time, I did a little bit of pre-work. I probed the soil. Um, I like to use the top four foot in corn. Uh, that's a pretty good root zone. And so when I probed the soil, I got a silt loam soil um, and roughly about 70% full in that top four inches. Um, one nice thing that um, when you're learning to do this, um, because it takes a lot of time to really understand soil moisture in this soil um, and then figuring out your soil type. Uh, the USDA provides a extremely nice article on soil moisture um, and by feel and appearance and also understanding your soil type. Like I said, uh, this is silt loam soil and it's roughly 70% full. Um, if it was 100% full, uh, there would be two inches of available water per foot. Uh, so with some easy math, that would give us eight inches um, in the top four foot. So if I take that number, um, eight inches times the 70% full, that gives us a 5.6 inches of available water still. So if I take 5.6 inches minus the 3.75 inches based off of growth stage, if you subtract that, that leaves 1.85 inches of leftover water. And so this corn crop uh, actually would not need any more water to finish out. Now, with that being said, that would be a perfect situation. Um, one thing to take into consideration is our ET rates. And so those ET rates are gonna be pushing the higher levels. And so we're still gonna be using quite a bit of water per day because of the heat. And so that'll be one thing you wanna consider and take into effect uh, when you start to understand and schedule that final irrigation pass. So thank you guys, have a great day.